Hello and welcome to Infinity. Pointillism is a style of painting where you use just dots from the paintbrush. Um, this is a bit of Surat who is quite famous for it. Uh, quite a few other artists have had a go and even modern, more modern ones and old ones and uh, there's even good old Van Gogh had a go at it too. Everyone had to have a try. And you can do it pretty much with pretty much anything. And um, this painting, if we do give us a picture of it, yeah, there we go. That's the most famous picturing, painting, um, which is again a Surat. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's have a go at doing it. We'll start off with the uh, just a picture, it's kind of an old building which looks nice. I'm going to hit Control J to duplicate it. Then we're going to do a, an adjustment and go to HSL and bring up the control for this. And for this, we're going to put HSV on here because then when we turn up the luminosity, we get this effect with the HSV, it just goes white. So this gives us an arty thing already and we'll turn up the saturation around about halfway as well, which will give us a nice bright, almost a nice picture by itself. But we're going to apply dotiness to this. So to do that, we need a separate layer. So we're going to come down and add pixel layer. So it appears up here. Then we want to fill it in with black first. So we're going to go to the flood fill tool, make sure black is selected up here. And just click once on there. Then we're going to add some noise. So I'm going to go to filter noise, add noise. And the control on that, got this turned all the way up, Gaussian and monochromatic of black and white. So now what I'm going to do is zoom out. So control and the mouse wheel, that's the way to do it. Going down here, I'll use the hand tool just to move it down to the corner here. Because those dots were rather small, weren't they? So what I'm going to do is make them bigger by selecting this and using the move tool and I can use this to expand it and it's making it this big so the dots are on the in the corner down here are going to end up looking much bigger and I'll do that how big it's just a matter of trying stuff maybe I'll do it there which is kind of about four or five times as big and okay that should be okay because if I go control zero that'll get us back here now let's see if we can start to see the dots and what we'll do now is we're going to go into those dots a bit here because they go a bit, a bit vague there so we'll come up go adjustment and adjust to levels because we want to get the dots a bit bit bigger and more, no, more notable than that. So for this, we're just going to bring the white down. See, everything gets a bit whiter, so we're getting more dottiness now. See where that now has got quite a good bit of, of dots there in it. So that'll probably do. And because when you get faded dots, that will mean the pick thing will come out not quite the same colour. So it adds a little bit of variation to it. So, but the dots are a little bit blocky. So what we'll do, we'll also click on here and go to the live filters there and put on a Gaussian blur, which will sort of blur the edges of those. So I'll turn the radius up there. I want it a bit, little bit blurred, but not sort of mungy, just a little bit softer, that's all. OK, that'll do for now. And what we're going to do now with this, we want to turn this into a mask to apply to this here. So I'll just go to layer and rasterize to mask. Doesn't mean I'll lose some of that non-destructive stuff, but I can always come back and rebuild it. So right to light to mask, and there you go, look at what it's doing already. Let's do a control zero, and there we've got dottiness. We can actually stop there if you want to. And there's various the other things we can do. So we could, for example, I can put this mask into here. There we go. That's an even better one, isn't it? So I'm now masking just at this level. 
And if I zoom in, see what I'm getting underneath is the original picture. Maybe a nice with white underneath it rather than sort of the brick showing through. Uh, so, um, or what I could do, first of all, there's another thing I can take that and go to a, what's the other one? Here we go, get a Gaussian blur and put a blur onto the background. So those bricks, I can kind of knock them out. Here we go, and we're getting something. Yeah. So there, the background is, is now almost painterly. So we look at that. We could also take this out and put a white layer underneath. It's another way of doing it. And a number of other different things that you can do to play around with it. You can do a detect edges and you get a, a, a strange effect. But for now, um, that's pretty good, I think, for our, our uh, picture. So if I go back to the original, that's a slightly blurred one, isn't it? But that on top, that's a really big change with not so many clicks. Hope you enjoyed that and thank you very much for watching.